So I alluded to this legendary series in a recent video, and so I decided to make sure that somewhere on this channel there existed a testament to the brilliance of Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Actually, before I do that, I've never done this, but thank you for all the 419 people who haven't unsubscribed. I, I, that actually elates me. I never intended to really grow this channel. This is just kind of a vestige of what I saw as the lost blogtopia of uh, 10, 15 years ago or so, um, which is, I perceived a certain corner of the internet as, and the fact that there's, I mean, there's, yeah, thank you. I've never, I've never actually formally expressed my gratitude because it does, it does make me feel quite warm to be, to be confessional here. Anyway, on to Legend of the Galactic Heroes. In order to find a way to feature it on Acknowledging Our Discontent, or Film of the Day in, in particular, I chose to discuss its 1988 debut film, My Conquest is the Sea of Stars. This hour-long feature is a prequel to the monumental OVA series, A Legend of the Galactic Heroes, which was released from 1988 to 1997. To those unaware, an OVA is an anime a film or an ongoing series, which was released via home video rather than broadcast television or in theatres. What a time that would have been, waiting to buy the next series of Legend of the Galactic Heroes, and on Laserdisc, I presume. What a fantastic privilege. This anime is actually based off of a series of novels which were written by one Yoshiki Tanaka and published between 1982 and 1987. The series takes place in the distant future of 3596. Humanity has taken to the stars and founded many new intergalactic governmental bodies. Most prominently is the Prussian-esque Galactic Empire and the democratically inclined Free Planets Alliance, two entities engaged in a seemingly perpetual war with one another. The storyline of this series focuses in particular on two individual commanders within the two separate factions, from the Empire, Reinhard von Lohengrim, and from the Alliance, Yang Wenli. Their rivalry forms the core of this epic saga. Legend of the Galactic Heroes is essentially about everything. Regarded as a legendary work of political discourse in fiction, these days on the internet amongst people who are willing to watch anime, and for very good reason. This is truly one of the most exceptional viewing experiences of all time. Brilliantly scripted, phenomenally animated, and emotionally intense, it is my favourite anime series other than Serial Experiments Lane, and possibly actually Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam. I seriously cannot recommend this cycle enough. We all know the Star Wars synopsis and its old expanded universe no longer counts as true canon, as it were. Though in any case, it was a poor stand-in for Tolkien's Legendarium, or even the budding future timeline of the Star Trek universe. To me, possibly the great science fiction saga in the visual realm in the, is The Legend of the Galactic Heroes, although certainly Universal Century Gundam is utterly brilliant as well. If you are an existing fan of Legend of the Galactic Heroes, do share your love if you'd like to. If you are a future fan of Legend of the Galactic Heroes, you know what to do. Anime in the 20th century was such a cool and interesting phenomenon. Anyone in the English-speaking world who could attain any anime, assuming they wanted to, ate it up and salivated over it. It's such a cool, deliciously satiating phenomenon to imagine. Seriously, uh, you're a Gundam fan in the English-speaking world circa 1997 or so, one of the few. Receiving a copy of Gundam on Laserdisc would be mind-blowing and truly like a gift from the future. More in this context, you'd be getting on a... It's possibly a slightly poor VHS rib, I'm not sure. <laughs> now it's everywhere and it's vaguely mundane. Not just anime, everything. We have to learn to salivate over our art again. You could start by experiencing Legend of the Galactic Heroes. There is no attempt made in this video to truly define the genius of this epic, although feel free to share one's own thoughts on the series. What have I neglected to praise here? Because there is plenty I've passed over. Yes, I would recommend by starting out with My Conquest is a Sea of Stars, fantastic little film, and then the truly phenomenal and brilliant Legend of the Galactic Heroes, which goes for 110 episodes, so <laughs> set some time aside, but I think it will be well worth it. Thank you all. Have a great one.